Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is CZ Pop, and today I'm going to teach you about something called loyalty points. All right, now what you want to do first is you want to go on to something called Stream Elements and you want to log in with your Twitch channel, okay? It'll probably look different from this, all right? But where you want to go is Loyalty Settings. Now, when you go into loyalty settings, you want to make sure it's enabled. Okay. Now you can name the currency points, whatever you want. You can set them to whatever you want. You can set a whole bunch of awesome stuff on here as well. And for the ignored users, I would actually recommend putting your own on there so that it doesn't count that. And you want to put any bots on there as well, just to make sure that it doesn't give points to those bots because they're not gonna use them. Here is another thing I wanna show you that'll help you with your stream. What you wanna do is you want to scroll down and go to bot and go to chat commands, okay? Now this is something that I thought was really cool and useful, all right? Now, there are some default ones that you can do that lets the users in your stream play games and that stuff is okay but here's where it gets interesting okay you can set up custom commands all right I would highly recommend playing around with these because for me I have a few set up that people can do when they are on my stream the first one is discord if I type in discord it'll give my discord link if I do link tree it'll do my link there's the store where it'll link them to my store to redeem those loyalty points that they earn. And they can also do a lurk if they want to. Now here's where it gets very fun and interesting for your stream. In that same spot where you had your chat commands, you want to go to timers. Okay. Down in timers, there are a f there's three ones that I set up. You can do two if you want. Okay. The automatic one is Discord where you have it go every 15 minutes, all right? And there's some other options as well for intervals and chats. There's Linktree and Steezy Store. Those are automatically going on their own, okay? So this is something that people that aren't affiliated can do. So if you're just starting on Twitch, not affiliated at all, this is something that I would highly recommend doing is to do the loyalty points all right i highly recommend you do those just to make your stream interesting since you're just starting out all right with that in mind i do have some more videos that i'm going to work on in coming out if you have any questions about how to set up anything that i put out on my videos let me know either in the youtube videos or I would prefer Discord so I can talk to you directly. The link to my Discord is in the description. All right. And that's going to do it for this video. Make sure to subscribe for future videos. Leave a like. Leave a comment for some feedback on what you want to know or learn. And make sure to join my Discord. Thanks, guys.